In the last part of the series, we learned how to send tweets and store the tweets in our database. In part 3 of this series, we will learn how to display those tweets on our home page. Also, we will keep the user logged in once he or she logs in so that the user does not need to enter the username and password every time he opens the app. So right now if you see, if you click this new tweet button and you type a tweet and you press tweet, the tweet does get stored in our database but it is not displayed over here. So that's what we'll set up in this tutorial. So let's begin. Come to the main storyboard and open up the assistant editor. In the home view controller, we'll first start by creating a few variables. First will be a reference to our database. Next, we'll create a variable to store the logged in user. And then we'll create a variable to store the details of the user. Let's also add an activity indicator view. This is a nice addition that shows when the page is loading. I'm just going to move this out of the table so that it comes in the center. Just make it large white and set the color to a nice blue. Let's create an outlet for the activity indicator view. Call it AIV loading and also create a link to the table view. And call it home table view. One last variable that we'll create is a tweets variable which will store all our tweets when we get them from the database. Now come into the view did load method. First thing is to get the logged in user. As always, we'll use fir auth dot auth dot current user to get that and then we'll get the logged in users details from the user profiles node in our database under that we'll search for the logged in users uid And we'll just observe a single event of type to just read it once. The return data can be called snapshot and it'll be of type FIR data snapshot. Here we'll store the logged in users details into the variable that we created. So we'll say self dot logged in user data equal to snapshot next we'll get all the tweets that are made by the user so again we'll refer to our database go under the tweets node this time under that we'll go for the user's user id And here we'll observe event of type because we don't we want to keep reading it if any child is added into this database so we'll say child added and the width block we'll put in again snapshot and fir data snapshot as the return data So what we'll basically get from this node are all the tweets of the user. So what we'll do is we'll, we created a variable called tweets here. It's an array of any object. 
So in this, we'll append all the tweets. Next, we just need to use these tweets and add them into individual rows into our table. So for that, we'll do insert rows at index path. Inside that, ns index path for row 0 in section 0 as we have only one section. This will be the normal brackets instead of the square brackets. And with animation, we'll call it UI table view animation automatic. So it'll show nice animation when the row is added. Also, we'll stop animating the activity indicator once everything is loaded. We also just need to make one change to this, to the activity indicator view. We need to check this behavior called animating and also hides when stopped. So whenever the animation is stopped, it'll automatically hide. We can also catch any errors over here. So we can say error in, close this bracket out and we just print the error into our log. Next, we need to just configure the table view cell. So for that, let's first go into our home view table view cell. And let's create outlets for our prototype cell. So let's drag this out here. Let's call this profile pick of type UI image view. Next, let's call this name handle and the text view we can just call it tweet. So now that we have all the outlets set up, let's write some code. We can get rid of this set selected method and here we can write a custom method called configure which will take the first value as a string for the profile pick. It's optional because right now we can allow the user not to have a profile pick as we haven't set that up in the profile tab. In the profile tab, we'll allow the user to upload a profile pick which we'll store into our database and we'll store a link of that as well which we'll refer when we display the profile pic. So that we'll do in the future when we set up the me tab. So for now we we'll let, let this be optional and we show default profile picture. Next we have name that will be of type string that is mandatory for the user to put in. Handle also of type string and tweet also of type string. To have this method as public, we would have to change this to public as well and we change this to public as well because we want to access it from outside the class. Here what we'll do is just set, set all of this up. So we'll set the text of the tweet equal to the tweet, the handle, the handle. Also in front of the handle, we'll add an at sign and for the name, we'll put in the name. Now for the profile pic, we can add the code so that when the user uploads the profile pic, it will actually show the profile picture and not this default Twitter picture. So I will just put the code in for now. So if profile pic not equal to nil then we'll show the user's profile picture which will be from coming from a url so we'll say contents of url 
and we'll put the URL in here because it'll be of type string because it's coming from the database. Force unwrap that. So we forced unwrap the profile picture and we forced unwrap the NS URL to get the NS data. We'll just get rid of this here. Next, we'll just set the profile picture. UI image data, image data. Else, we'll also correct this. This should be handled. Force unwrap image data as well. Else, just set a default profile picture. And for now, we'll just set the Twitter icon as the profile picture. So now that our table view cell is set up, let's come back to the home view controller and display this. Inside the cell forward index path, let's create a variable called tweet. And for each row, we'll put in the tweet inside this tweet variable. So what we need to know, understand here is that when we get the data from the database, it comes in the order that the oldest tweet will come first. So we need to reverse the order as we want to show it in the reverse order. We want to show the latest tweet on top, then the one after that, then the one after that, and the oldest tweet at the bottom. So for that, what we do is we'll simply just reverse the order by doing, going to the tweets array that we created inside that. It says self.tweets.count, which will give us the length of the tweets array. Get the last one in this. And from that, subtract the current index path. So like for the first row, so like for the first row, which this will be zero, and if we have five tweets, this will be five. So it will say five minus zero, which will mean five. So it will show the fifth tweet from the tweets array right on top. So say dot value text as string. Force down caster as a string. Next, we need to just configure the cell. So let's call cell.configure. This is the function that we created in our home view table view cell. We'll set the profile picture as nil for now. Get the logged in user's data, which is the name. First downcasted is a string. The handle. Also force downcast this as a string as we need this to be a string in our function. And the tweet can be just the tweet as we've already configured the tweet over here. There's one small error that we need to correct before we run this that is coming up here. There should be user profiles and not user profile. Now we're good to go. Let's run this and check this out. Let's log in. As you can see, we have to log in every time. After this, we'll fix this as well so that the logged in user remains logged in. There you can see, we can see both our tweets are coming up nicely with a nice animation. Let's try and tweet again. There you see the third tweet has come and it's come right on top. So now let's go and correct the problem of the user being logged out every time we open the application. Let's stop this, go to the view controller. In the view controller under the view did load, delete this code. And here, let's put in this line of code. And before we do that, let's import Firebase auth. And here, let's add a auth state to change listener. 
call this auth, call this user in code. Now let's say if let current user equal to user. We'll also just print a line saying user is signed in for our own reference. And we'll uh, send the user to the home view controller. So for that, let's do let main storyboard of type UI storyboard equal to UI storyboard name main and bundle of nil. This gets a reference to the main storyboard. Let's create a home view controller variable of type UI view controller. So main storyboard dot instantiate view controller with identifier. Let's call this tab bar controller view. We have to set this up right now. And once we have inst that instantiated, we can send the user to the home screen. It is self dot present view controller. Pass in the home view controller. Animated should be true. And in completion, we don't want anything. That is set up. Let's go to the main storyboard. Select the tab bar and give it a storyboard ID of tab bar controller view. Now we're good to go. Let's run this and see. When it loads, the user should be automatically taken to the home screen. There you can see it didn't ask for the login. It's taken the user to the home screen and it's got all the tweets of the user. In the next part, we'll build on this application. We have three more tabs to finish. We'll go to the Me tab and finish up the user's profile. I hope you guys like this and thank you for watching.